the rocket launches really do it. When you catch one, uh, you see one, it's like, that's humans built this, and now it's going into space. My name is Stefan Tomvik. I'm from Cold Spring, Minnesota, and I'm now pursuing my master's degree at the University of North Dakota in space studies. I knew I wanted to work in the space industry, right? I just didn't know who would give me an opportunity. Spring 2019, I applied to some internships down at NASA, and then I got some NAS I got some EPSCOR funding from our North Dakota Space Grant Consortium. They fund students to go on NASA internships. So I got my funding and I went down in summer 2019 and I just worked really hard. And then um, they brought me back in January 2020 and then they direct hired me in August. We have four moon instru lunar instruments going to the moon in the next four years. That's the project I work on. And I'm an electronics engineer. So I develop, uh, right now I develop uh, PCB boards, printed circuit boards um, for testing out uh, the flight hardware. Since you get like the spacesuits and the habitats and the space studies department in general, the classes and stuff, you get to see like the bigger picture of how it like can economically impact the world. I was on two missions at the Inflatable Lunar Mars Habitat, and that's a really unique place for students to be able to propose an experiment for a simulated mi human mission analog. You're stuck in there with three crew members, right? So you ha you have to be be more or less a jack of all trades, and that gives you the confidence when you get out of there to <clears throat> go into new environments. And just being able to like write proposals and like write about how it can change like life on Earth. That's really cool, and that's the passion. That's where it comes from. I think it's just bettering uh, life here for everyone.